Hi guys! Oh sorry, I just like the whole thing just moved then. Bear with me, let's just see if I can put that back. I'm doing this on my cauldron, that's how it's resting, so it might move a little bit. Just coming on to do the Facebook card reveals for you all. So, if you were drawn to card one, we are going into the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is feeling a little bit cautious, a little bit overwhelmed, feeling a little bit that maybe there's been a little bit of... Um, hearsay, gossip, scandal, deceit, maybe a bit of betrayal in some form around you and you're having to sort of, you know, not necessarily take action but you're having to be cautious and careful about what you're hearing, what you're sensing, what you're seeing at the moment and I think the key thing here is not to get too bogged down with the external world, try to stay focused on your power, on your truth, on your magic so this lantern in the card is trying to really sort of escalate and light the way forward. Don't buy into other people's versions of things. Only you can know how you've been made to feel and, you know, what you've been up against and how you've had to respond to something. And people often do like to twist, manipulate or, you know, um, deceive us in various ways. And it's almost like not getting caught up in all of that. It's, it's almost better to walk a little bit more freely and a bit more independently than sort of sacrifice or be limited by that stuff. So this I think is a bit of a warning card for some of us this week. Now it's interesting it falls at the Christmas period because for some people Christmas is a really happy time, it's a great you know time for family, for friends, but for another big cluster of people Christmas can also be quite overwhelming, can be quite upsetting and in some cases there is quite a lot of dramatic kind of energy that comes about at Christmas you know through people that maybe try to limitate others so if you fall into that category where you're being slightly limited or hindered by other people don't buy into the the bs the bullshit of it all really stay in your lane stay in control of where you have power so this person is trying to guard their post or their pitch but their almost ear is wondering it's listening to all the sort of stories and the unpleasantries that might be going on around them and basically don't buy into a secondary version of what you're about because you guys know what you're about you know you're great you're fabulous people don't let somebody else twist that sort of energy into something other than what it actually is you know so I think there's a real need with this card to stay grounded keep the sort of you know negative world at bay and focus on where you can make a difference don't sort of sacrifice or tarnish who you are for others expectations or limitations so I hope that makes sense. A really interesting card to come out. wasn't expecting that one, so it kind of threw me off guard a little bit. Um, but it's there, so we need to work with it. Now, if you've been drawn to card two, we're going into the Four of Cups. Four of Cups, not surprising me that we're seeing this at Christmas time. Lots of thoughts and feelings. This is a card of reflection. This is a card of sometimes um, overstudying, sometimes perhaps thinking about past cycles, past things that can't be changed fully. For a lot of people with this time of year, if we've lost loved ones close to us, Christmas can be a little bit of a reminder of the memories, the great stuff we've had with someone, but also that, that feeling of loss um, is there a little bit. Sometimes this card also comes about if there is a little bit of caution of how you want to respond to new energy coming in for you at the moment. So we've got this sort of cup being gifted with the sort of spirit hand, but this person has sort of got their arms folded, they're a little bit dubious, they're a little bit cautious to almost just grab that cup for what it is and there's a lot of questioning, there's a lot of analysing and in some cases perhaps there's a little bit of over analysing of stuff at the moment. So there's a need to just sort of, you know, expand your mind, expand your awareness and if you've been hurt, if you've been let down from past cycles, uh, past cycles or past experiences, there's no reason whatever is being gifted to you here is going to lead to something traumatic from a past cycle or a past time. So know that you can detach from that and you can still receive something of great worth if you want to. But it's actively moving your conscious awareness out of this into something a bit more rewarding, a little bit more hopeful. Sometimes a lot of us have a habit of self-punishing ourselves when we really don't need to be and there may be some of that going on. So this is a really important time to expand, see the bigger picture, Gently move yourself out of your comfort zone if you feel it's kind of going to lead to something of greater merit, of greater value. You might be pleasantly surprised. 
It's really interesting this week. The cards are all about deep contemplation and deep thought. So I find this really a little bit of interesting. Um, as we're going into the final card, card three, we're going into the hangman. Key thing with the hangman, do not string yourself up unnecessarily. Get a new perspective. So with this card, I always encourage people to turn it upside down. And by doing this, we see that the noose is around his foot as opposed to his neck. So maybe he's caught himself up a little bit unnecessarily. The external world, we know it's a mess. We know it's a bit sort of screamy and loud at the moment. And it is making people feel trapped. It is making people feel a bit stuck and a little bit overwhelmed in various ways. So this is about not getting kind of called or pulled into that sort of um, dramatic energy. Stay grounded, that's really, really important. And by doing that, again, we can see a bigger perspective. We can see beyond a problem, a tunnel vision, or an immediate frustration. The hangman often feels a little bit suspended, a bit stuck between two worlds or two ways of living. And it's just trying to see beyond that sort of um, limited energy, really. So all these cards in different ways are sort of saying, don't sacrifice, don't tarnish, don't give away your power as independent people, whether that's on a collective scale or more independently. It's like wanting you to really keep shining. So I think this week we might be tested quite a bit actually, um, emotionally, physically, mentally, but keep shining. Christmas is a day, it comes, celebrate it for what it is, and then it goes. And before you know it, we'll be into like new energy, happier times, and an opportunity for us all to put our best foot forward. So I feel if there's people kind of causing you drama or trying to sort of stir the cauldron around you, don't buy into it. Reclaim back your power. If you're tormenting yourself with past cycles, past times, move beyond that. You know, give yourself permission to expand and have something of higher value. If you're a bit frustrated, if you feel like you're caught between a rock and a hard place, roll with it, go with the flow, things will improve, things will get better. And by changing your perspective and your focus, you'll come out on top. We've got this big ball of light shining from the crown chakra. Stay in your light, stay in your power, and things will get better. So I'm going to leave these with you. I hope they resonate. I hope they make sense. Have an awesome Christmas, guys, and I'll catch up with some of you lovelies very soon. Take care. Bye for now.